What's up, everybody? This is Dark Mesa with Brutally Delicious, coming into the review of Within Silence's brand new album, The Eclipse of Worlds. Okay, so here's a band from Slovakia that I've never heard of before. And it might be the first Slovakian band I've ever gotten, period. And I'll confess right now that the country of origin often biases what I think the band is going to sound like. That is, I made a point of when some death and roll band a couple years ago was from Belgium. I totally thought they were from Texas. If you had told me American power metal, I might have assumed something like Visigoth. But Slovakian? I don't know what that sounds like. Because Finnish power metal sounds different than German power metal, so you can't just go off Eurozone. I'm very pleased to announce that this band was a really interesting hybrid of a couple styles. Some of them sounded like, you know, more typical Eurozone, Germany, Finnish power metal, literally an amalgamation of that. But then there was also a lot of Iron Maiden influence that sounded like the original Waves, Halloween stuff. For a band I'd never heard of, the production is very crisp. The drums are booming and there's a great locking of the guitars and the drums. Usually bands that are produced this well or ones I've seen at festivals before. So let's talk about some songs. The opener called Battle Hymn. Really cool opening and the intro, you know, soft part reminds me of of Scalds and Shadows by Blind Guardian. But then it goes into something sounding like Luca Torilli's solo stuff. For those unfamiliar, you know, he's the guitar player that started Rhapsody way back in the day. But he has a couple of solo albums that sound a little different. Check out Legend of Steel and The Ancient Forest of Elves. To me, that's what this track sounds like, and it's a great comparison. By the by, I also hear some Celador here. There was a band called Rexoria. They had a release last year that feels kind of similar to this. It's a little more synthy, but they're hitting the same vibes. Divine Power. This is a good single. Stylistically, it sounds like Glory Hammer rewrote I'll Be Your Hero by Rhapsody, but the singer is more in the evermore Celador vein than Giacomo. The Eclipse of Worlds. Really great epic feel to this one. It deserves the title track. There's a lot of good urgency and pacing to the song. You know, it makes you feel like, you know, you're running through the forest, and it totally deserves its seven minute runtime. The Mist. Here's another standout double bass burner. This is a fun one. The pre-chorus is probably the coolest part of the song, not the chorus. Not a lot of tracks where that's the case. Storyline. This is a great sing-along. It could be a modern Iron Maiden track if the production were a little different. I was reminded of coming home off of the final frontier, and it could have fit in with a lot of the post-Brave New World stuff that Iron Maiden's done. By the by, I know not many bands want to be compared to modern Iron Maiden, but that's where more of the sing-along stuff comes from. Last but not least, Treason. Similar to Storyline, it's more of that really kick-ass Iron Maiden style. It's more of like a classic power metal track, like I was saying, Halloween and such. It was more of an 80s evolution than stuff like Camelot or Epica. Okay, so are there like a ton of Slovakian bands or even Eastern European bands that kick this much ass and for some reason aren't well known? The only ones I can think of off the top of my head are Vader, Behemoth, and Ginger, and none of those are power metal. This band has the chops to go with the best of them. Really great songs, great singing, and top-notch production. I'm really looking forward to whatever this band does next. I hope to see them hit the festival circuit at some point. Thanks for this, dudes. Rock on.